This problem is about the mean value theorem for integrals. Let f of x equal x cubed. A. What does the mean value theorem for integrals say about f on the interval 0 to the cube root of 32? B. Solve for c star such that c star gives the outcome in part A. Before we can decide what the mean value theorem says for our function f, we need to make sure that f satisfies the requirements of the theorem. The mean value theorem for integrals is easy. It only requires f to be continuous. Our function is f of x equals x cubed. Indeed, this is a polynomial, so yes, it is continuous. The mean value theorem for integrals says there exists some number c star in the interval 0 to the cube root of 32 such that f of c star is equal to 1 over the length of the interval times the integral of f on the interval that we were given. We basically have our answer for part a. All that remains is to fill in the formula for f. Therefore, our answer is, there is a number c star in the interval 0 to the cube root of 32 such that c star cubed equals 1 over the cube root of 32 times the integral from 0 to the cube root of 32 of x cubed dx. Our answer for part A gives us the equation we need to solve for part B. Specifically, we need to solve for c star such that c star cubed will be equal to 1 over the cube root of 32 times this integral. To make things easier, let's break it into pieces and compute the integral first by itself. To compute the integral of x cubed, we need to anti-differentiate using the power rule. Therefore, our integral will be 1 fourth times x to the fourth, and then we take the difference from x equals 0 to x equals the cube root of 32. Therefore, our integral is 1 fourth times the cube root of 32 to the fourth power. In this problem, it will be useful not to simplify too much, so we will leave this expression as it is. Now that we know the value of the integral in our equation, we can plug that back in. We need to solve c star cubed is equal to 1 over the cube root of 32 times 1 fourth the cube root of 32 to the fourth power, where this part right here was the value of the integral. First, let's cancel all the powers of the cube root of 32. We have one power in the denominator here, and four powers here. That leaves us with the cube root of 32 to the third power. This is very fortunate because we have the cube root of 32 cubed, which simplifies to just 32. Our original equation simplifies to solving c star cubed is equal to 1 fourth times 32, which is exactly c star cubed is equal to 8. Therefore, c star equals 2. That's our answer for part b. Let's do a quick recap. First, the mean value theorem for integrals applied to an interval a, b says there will be a number c star in the open interval a, b such that f of c star is equal to 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Remember, b minus a is the length of the interval. Also remember, this requires f to be continuous. Our function is f of x equals x cubed, which is continuous because it's a polynomial. So the mean value theorem is okay for this problem.
The mean value theorem says there will be a number c star such that c star cubed is equal to 1 over the cube root of 32 times the integral from 0 to the cube root of 32 of x cubed dx. To conclude part b, we have to solve for c star such that c star cubed is equal to 1 over the cube root of 32 times 1 fourth times the cube root of 32 to the fourth power.